After four attacks on Indians were reported out of Australia in the last three weeks alone now, Deputy Commissioner of Australia's Victoria Police has said Indians are soft targets and should be careful. Uh, they are, Indian students are, are very quiet natured, uh, uh, very passive sort of people. Uh, they study hard and they do, uh, they work hard. Uh, so we find that they tend to travel uh, late at night because of, uh, of work or because of study. Uh, they carry uh, valuable items like iPods, mobile phones, laptop computers. Generally they'll travel on their own and of course that makes them vulnerable to people who are out there to uh, uh, take, uh, take the opportunistic uh, uh, stance of uh, uh, stealing property from these. We've got a task force out in, uh, an Imbona task force out in the western suburbs at Footscray. Uh, they've done some great work in identifying uh, offenders. Uh, so they all target people who they know are known recidivist offenders. They will make sure that they keep an eye on them and if they continue to commit crimes they will uh, take action against them. There has been a, ra a rise in, in this type of crime and I, I wouldn't say it's a significant spike but certainly it's something that's been concerning us in Victoria Police for a period of time. You now we've taken a lot of act action in relation to this. Uh, we have a, uh, a Western Suburbs Reference Group which we, uh, we, we meet with representatives of, uh, of different communities, particularly the, the Indian community. Uh, we also have our crime prevention officers visiting universities, talking to students at universities about their personal safety, uh, about you know such things as if you can don't travel alone, travel in a group or travel in pairs, uh, they become less vulnerable in that sense. Well, it's, just, it's disgusting behaviour. I mean, I say, you know, everybody, doesn't matter who they are, doesn't matter what race, doesn't matter what age, doesn't matter what type of uh, activity they're involved in, whether they're students, business people or just the general community, should have the right to go about their business without being harassed, without being assaulted, without being uh, subject to uh, robbery of their property.